Here are pictures of some of the fish ponds we came across in Molokai, and I found them very interesting. Ancient Hawaiians were the first islanders in the Pacific to make use of the ponds and fish farming. Hawaiians developed aquaculture to supplement their other fishing activities. One of the Hawaiians' greatest engineering innovations was their use of aquaculture, mostly using stone and coral fish ponds. Permanent fish ponds guaranteed a food supply for the population in lean times and increased the wealth of the managing chief. Tended ponds provided fish without requiring fishing expertise and harvesting the pond, unlike fishing at sea, was not weather dependent. Hawaiians built fish ponds on Kauai, Oahu, Lanai, Maui, and Molokai, with the highest concentration of ponds being in Molokai. Molokai has many of these well-preserved fish ponds located along its southern coast, most built seven to eight hundred years ago. The Big Island of Hawaii has the fewest ponds due to its abrupt coast and lack of reef and lagoons. Hawaiians stock their ponds with milkfish, two kinds of mullet, sea pig, shrimp, guppies, and eels. Other sea fish entering the ponds were amberjack, goatfish, surgeonfish, and parrotfish and bonefish. The semicircular walls of the pond were made from lava boulders and coral that would allow the seawater to ebb in and out. The fish ponds had wooden gates that would allow small fish to swim in providing a haven to reside and feed, and as they grew, the fish would become too large to exit back through the gate. The Hawaiians would then harvest fish responsibly and sustainably. During this time, only royal Hawaiian chiefs were permitted to eat the fish harvested from these ponds. You'll find the most extensive examples of their ingenuity along 20 miles of Molokai's south and southern shores, where more than 60 fish ponds were once in use. Fish ponds were a sign of wealth in Hawaiian culture. The fish from the ponds were primarily reserved for chiefs, and if commoners were caught stealing fish, from the pond, he or she was sentenced to death.